fresh pineapple production. Okay, come on, guy. I got something to show you. you walk with me. I'll show you. All right? You got it. See, I got see the price playing down, right? Now, if you come up where the price is, look up here in the tree. Come on. There's a tree up there. Up there. Now, if you look at that from that view, or a closer, it's like a human. It's got the two legs going up. It's got a back. It's got two arms going up. If you look up a little closer, it's got a bump. It looks like a human head. If you really look at it, from my angle, if you come up here and you really look at it, and you examine it from right here, it looks like a human reaching up, reaching up and saying, help, I might get look, look up, see it in the tree? Look at it, really good, Sam, am I right? If you really look at it, from your view, am I right? Doesn't it look like a human leaning back, please help me. It does. Okay, thank you. That's the end of time. I can't say what name, who it is, what it is. It's a spirit. It's here. The tree's over there with that spirit. You looked at it earlier, and that's the way it was. What I said earlier is a name of a guy, whoever, or a girl. A spirit's over there showing you, looking up, saying, Hi, God. Spiritually, he could turn them out, and he could pick up my uh, my hearing. Uh, he could pick up the spirit, spiritually uh, communicate. Um, so for, to communicate, he can come in, and uh, I could pick it up by a tingling. Hair stands up, and uh, yeah, my voice will change, and uh, stuff like that. And I have no problem with it. And he'll stay with me until I leave or whatever. Number two, why I'm here, I got an angel cover for me every day. I have an angel. Because I found one in the Bible to tell you. Word to word. You find an angel that is a blessing. That tells you, folks, if you believe in everything, you're protected by an angel. Somebody in your family or stuff like that, if you believe it, is true. And right now my, that spirit he's still here he's not with me but he's somewhere in here he's somewhere here he's not going to hurt me or nobody here he, 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 something happened and that's where I guess he um, <clears throat> is what I gathered him and her Something happened, and that's where they died, and that's why the spirit's not living and leaving him. It wants to stay here. I don't know why, but she just leaving her leave. But no. Nope. He wants to find that person who ever did that. That's all I can say. And I believe what I say. I do what I have to do. I survive what I have to do. And that's life. And I'm going to keep on going until it's time. My name is Mark. Okay. The weed here that I do, very solemn. And uh, that helps uh, to heal my injuries from the past. I got hit in the head. Uh, I survived. I got hit. Again, I survived. Uh, and uh, shoulder, car accident, uh, stuff like that, I shouldn't be here. But I'm surviving. Everything out there that I do on my own, 
yard work, this, that, you name it, I do it. It makes me feel good, it helps the body, etc. Because they say in the science, in the medical, exercise is the best thing for you. For you. Ride a bike, eat right, exercise, and etc. And keep on going. And keep on going. Don't get your body too tired because what happens, you don't want to get up and work. And then your chylobet, uh, your, uh, your cells, they start to drain. you got to feed those cells to keep surviving, to keep it alive. And when it's time for anything to happen, he will let you know. In the meantime, do what you got to do. I can't say, you know, do this and you don't want it. Do this, you don't want it. I can't do it. There is no word can't. There is a word can. Don't say can't. Can't. Try. You'd be surprised what your body can do. And you'd be surprised what your body can do. And I said, I got injuries. They hurt. But I'm still walking, I'm still moving, I'm still bending. They hurt, oh yeah. Got a bad back, bad knee, shoulder, ribs, head, jaw. I'm still here, surviving. What can I do? I like everybody out there in the world, it don't matter what race, what I do what I got to do I say hi to everybody and uh, they respond hi I'm work up here at that gas station save more etc and the people like me they don't want me to leave and etc and then part two we'll discuss that down the road maybe tomorrow or the next day have a good night folks Besides my disabilities and et cetera, I still do what I gotta do. I got ribs, I got shoulders, I got five pins in my knees, I got a bad back, but I'm still doing what I'm doing. And I've been in accidents, I've been in injuries, and then I could have point from point A to point B, that's up, but for some reason, he don't want me to go up. He wants me to stay. And I got certain things that look over me during the night. I got hit. Here, seven stitches, guys, back up. What the fuck is going on here? You asked for a cigarette. You asked for a cigarette. Bing! It hit again. Down. One hold my arm. One hold there. One down there. Trying to check what's in my pockets and I'm pushing them up, pushing, pushing, pushing. I got up, they go, what the fuck is going on here? This guy ain't staying down. Let's get the fuck out of here. Got up, got on my bike, rode halfway from here maybe to the end of that street. Bing, she came down, blood everywhere, hot pain, blood everywhere, fucking normal like I'm talking now. You go to the hospital and they can figure it out. They couldn't figure it out. And then, like I said, I could have been there, but I'm here. So many injuries. I'm still here. He don't want me yet, but I got people looking over me. Well, you, everybody's been seeing me on YouTube on, in uh, 2010. Now this is 2011. And I still do my side jobs here and there, work. As you can see, there's a dirt pile right here. I help these people out throwing the dirt in and stuff like that. I keep myself in shape and uh, stuff like that. And there's one person that wanted to say hi to me, so I'm going to say hi to her. Hi, Jackie. I'm still here, you know. So it's like, if you want to respond, Give my buddy over there, I'll call back again. If you want to leave a number for you to call back or write, I'll write back. In the meantime, 
Right now I have nothing to show you or whatever. See the shovel. This is what I do. I work. I throw dirt. I paint. Whatever. Keeps me in shape. I ride the bike. I love it. I'm going to keep the bond going until somebody says no more. And they know who that is. Have a good day, folks. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, folks, you see what I said about the dirt pile? You see my shovel? I'm king of the mountain now. I'm up here on the dirt pile. And... Oh, ready! <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. When I was talking about over there earlier about the uh, the R, okay, then the person that we see in the tree saying thank you, okay, or reaching up to the tree to the ground, saying um, saying hi, I'm here, please help me. Okay, uh, help me through the tree. Now, there's certain things in that tree, in that area, that there's different signs, different locations of a human into a tree, or uh, different signs like an R, a shape to a tree, stuff like that. Right now, I go out with and help people do whatever I need to do. Like over there, there's a dirt pile over there with a white shed. I help shovel the dirt, stuff like that. I help. Do whatever they want to do, but besides that, I do it. Everything that I see out here in the world, I can see it with my eyes, I can hear it with my ears, I can see a presence, presence, a person to come into me, into me, and speak to another human being that understands what I'm talking about and he turns around and can put it and can communicate that the people that can't hear or they can't see but they understand so tonight beautiful night on the weather, if it's going to rain, snow, whatever. I have ridged from accidents that, through my history, 
I could tell. My body could pick it up. If it's going to be rain, snow, or night. Right now, I have no pressure in front of me. Over another human being, like a spirit, I have nothing. But, right now, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful night. Because tonight, now, see that, that guy I was talking about, that white guy. Forty-five thousand miles away. We might live up there. We might not. There's life. They say it's up there. That's what they say. I don't know. Time will tell. Down the road. Scientists, people, they haven't figured out yet why the world changed. They say global warming. It's not that. Way, way, way back in the olden days, way before everybody else was born. There was uh, wood, uh, volcano, all that got under the ocean, under the water. So you got the lava under the water, under the ocean. The sand's melting, okay? That turns around. The water's warm. You got over in Alaska or up in north, uh, things are melting. The water's warm. The water's rising. Certain towns are going to go under the water, and etc. And uh, from there, and then they finally have figured it out. The water's warm, up here is cold. The crater's changing. The world, one time that was here, like flood, it used to be warm. And this part used to be warm. Now it's turning like this, where they're getting the snow in Florida and certain other places, and we're getting less snow, less snow. And so all the years that go by, 2001, 10, 11, 12, so forth on by the year 2020 we're going to be over here warm and they're going to have the ice and the snow and the cold right now it's supposed to be summer where's the summer it's so windy out here and it, the trees are blowing it feels like winter because the craters change as the climate changes and the world changing and then the leaves and then Things like that. I have pins in this knee, this and this one, a good bad shoulder, ribs, uh, this year is dead when it's normal, it's not moving, but when I go to bed it blinks, and then when it's cold or it can't, it's going to do something, this one hurts, this one hurts, I got a bad back, I can double out and do what I got to do, it don't, it's not going to stop me. And uh, I'm going to keep on going until it's time. In the meantime, I see things, I hear things. Uh, when I'm asleep, I can see what's going to happen. And sometimes it does come true, and sometimes it in between. But in the meantime, I do what I have to do. Like I was saying, in the time, we're showing it in different terms, in different ways. That's God, where things are happening in the world and if you open the Bible you read it in the Bible it's showing you in his way by certain things happening this is happening the earth is changing uh, this is happening uh, the water's rising uh, things are not exaggerating and on top of that you can turn around and put it in the Bible and it shows you Look under certain verses, it tells you. And on top of that, the way the sky's changing and colors and different atmosphere. We never used to get this cold at night. We used to be in the 70s and the 60s. Now 
it's like in the 40, 30, something like that almost every other night because the world's changing and the crater's changing in the atmosphere. And that's what I can predict right now in about another 50 years or another four years, something's going to really happen. And I mean, the government or if not, money-wise, it's going to change. That's all I can say for right now. It's a little nippy out tonight. All right. I'm back on the you-know-what, folks. Remember last year I talked about something was going to happen? And you can see it. You can read it in the book, in the center. What happened yesterday? We had a tornado come in. The Bloomfield got it. The Ware got it. Where's Springfield got it? Springfield got it bad in the South End. Cars swept over. Uh, Bloomfield, buildings ripped. Telephone poles down. Uh, as far as I know, four people died. 50,000 people uh, hurt in the tornado and everything. And they're saying, uh, we're supposed to be getting a, another storm or possible another tornado coming. That's what they're saying. As you can see, it's right over there. And if you look in the back, look at these clouds. That means there's another storm coming because the leaves, if you look, these are all upside down. That means rain. Right now, everybody should be warm. Am I right? Horse Park, we're way over. These are all black. And then you look down further, way over there, it's light blue and white cloud. That's no good. Horse Park got hit bad. Tornado, you had all the trees fell, branches, wires. Like I said, something's going to happen. What city did it happen in? And it happened. And I feel sorry for the people. But that means something uh, is going to change again. All the things that were damaged. All cars, telephone poles, houses. People lost the house. A friend of mine up on Maple Street, he lost his house. The whole back end of his house is all caved in. Uh, stuff like that. If you go way around, like I said, Bluefield, where, and up there, you see all the stuff that you're seeing on the news. Tornado, everything. We're not in Kansas anymore. This is Mark reporting in Springfield on a tornado. June 2nd, 2011. Peace and good night, folks. Well, you can see this is the shoe about Springfield. You got all these wire uh, writing on it and stuff, and uh, certain names on the front of it. Uh, you got the flag there. Uh, the, I guess this building is 1955. Uh, there's something over there. This was the library. Uh, but right now, the way Springfield is, I wouldn't want to live here at all. Nope. Because everything is going downhill. People are struggling. People can't survive. They want more money for, uh, for themselves to pocket but don't want to donate to help anybody. They want money, 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 money. But they don't want to help nobody. They don't. They just want to pocket themselves. That's the way the government is operating. I just want to get out of here, but what can I do? I got to live, uh, live where I got to live, stay where I got to stay, 
put up with bullshit, put up with this, put up with that. What else can you do? Nothing. So, well, you can see all different things on about Springfield. There, there, all different libraries. Some kid riding the bike. Um, there's one thing Springfield don't want to do. And these people that got stuck in the tornado, half of the houses they can't pitch, or they got a camp down, people got no place to go, and all these houses that are boarded up, and uh, they're in good shape, why can't they turn around, have those people turn around, have it financed through the bank, through their mortgage if they have one on their house, or the company is going to help them uh, rebuild a house or locate a new house. Why don't they just give those houses to the people who need it? So they can move into new houses in a different area, but it brings the houses back to life. If it needs a little work here and there on the side or on the roof or whatever, the houses that are boarded up, instead of tearing them down, where people walk around and then it's an eyesore. It's worthless. It's worthless. Half of these people that need places to go and they can't move in or they can't fix the house and the government is paying them wherever they're sleeping or staying or whatever. Why don't the bank that owns that house that's boarded up, uh, landlord didn't pay the rent or the mortgage, and it's for 30000 back taxes. Why don't they turn around? Oh, your house is worth, oh, right now. Turn around, take that, put it in that house as a payment, and finance it to the bank, and pay so much every month towards whatever the bill is. And then they're happy. They got a place instead of staying with relatives or, or if not relatives, friends or got no place. And they're on the street. Wake up. Springfield don't want to wake up. They just want to, uh, what do we do? Nothing. That's all I can say right now. These bugs are bothering me. So, have a good night, guys. Bye. Okay, people, you already see me. You know what I'm talking about. I'm on YouTube. Okay? Now, I was talking about the tornado and stuff like that. What was going to happen in the future? Last year, I said something was going to happen. Here it is. The tornado. I feel sorry for the people that happened, you know, four people. People are surviving. People are going to rebuild. But in the future, I can't say when, okay? I can't say what year, but it's going to be worse than this one. It's a warning. It's telling the government, wake up. Reality. Help people. Do not use people. Tax this. Tax that. Raise this. Lower this. People can't survive. How we're going to survive when we're having a struggle right now in our state, United States, and et cetera. Besides that, the government wants more money. We can't give them more money. They want to raise this. We can't survive. How we're going to survive on it. Now, the President, Obama, is supposed to come down here in Springfield. I don't know what day, but he's coming down. He's been there. He knows what's going on, how people are surviving, because he's been there. He's going to try to help people. But when he tries to help the government, the politicians, the Democrats, screw you, fuck you, fuck you. They don't want him to help. It's like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. That's what they want. Put them on the street. See if they can survive. I don't think so. Give them a week. 
give them a year. They can't survive because they don't have the money. That's how they're going to wake up in reality. Put them on the street. Let them survive. See how they can do it. We're doing it. We're trying. We're surviving. That's all I can say right now. But I believe if you look in the book, read in the Bible, in certain scriptures, certain paragraphs, in the Revelation, and whatever one, it's in there. It tells you what's happening, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, or basically, in certain scriptures, certain letters, certain words, and it's happening. And when it does, hope everybody, even the government, wakes up. We're already repaired. We know what to do, how to do it, and survive. That's all I can say for right now. Thank you, folks. Maybe I'll come back on it later. Maybe not. Peace. I love you all. around the world, okay, roads go forward, streams go forward, water goes forward, does it stop? No, it keeps flowing, you gotta be, you gotta flow with it, you gotta do what you gotta do with it, deal with it, go with it, or as a business, you start, let it grow, let it flow, the more you go, the more you flow, you keep on going, it, you got to survive one way or another. Eternity, time will tell. Nobody knows. The moon is not coming out, but it's bright back there. And that's a beautiful picture. And it's going to start coming out in a few minutes. I can't say when. I can say five minutes, ten minutes. But, as I said, I got injuries here, 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 and here. I'm still going. I'm still with the flow. I gotta survive. I eat what I eat. I do what I gotta do. But the moon, as you see, is starting to come out again. And it's gonna go back in. When it goes back in, you're gonna see the difference. It hides behind that cloud. When it hides behind the cloud, it makes different objects. Okay, thank you. You watch. Watch. There it goes. See? Different faces. Different things. If you look. Now it's going to hide. When it says, in the other cloud, that says, good night, folks. Keep going down. Okay. One. Two, three, four, 
There we go. Take it from there. Good night, folks. If I was the president right now of the United States, like I was saying earlier, if it came out, is the oil right now in the U.S. right now is here. It's that shipping it from out of state to here where we have to pay for it, plus raise everything else up, like the gas prices, the tax, this, that, where we don't need it. The people that are working, barely working, barely surviving, to pay this or pay for that, lose half of their property or lose the house or lose a car or they can't, they can't put food on the table. No, because the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. No, it should be 50-50. It should be where the rich should have, have the rich turn them out and have them stand in somebody's shoes where it, uh, Make them feel where, how can I pay for that? Or how can I pay for that? Make them feel, make them feel where I can't survive. You know, things in that sense. The rich shouldn't get that. No, the Democrats, no. The politicians, no. The lawyers, they get more money than we get. The doctors get more money than we get. Uh, it's, it's stuff like that. Uh, the, you know, why should the president have a lot of money? You know, I could see that, yeah, because he's got the bills to take care of and stuff. But they should just be equal to equal. They should not be where this town over here uh, is on the poor side. This side, the town over here is really rich and they got every cotton picket thing. That's why there's violence. That's why there's shooting. Because... Nobody can get what they want or how to survive. If that was the person, it should just be equal in that general. No more than that. And uh, that's what I would do. Anybody else who agree with me, well, just respond back on that. Doing, Mark? I'm walking, you're riding. It's been a hot one this past couple oh, of days. Oh, yeah. Real hot. Real hot. I'm surviving in the heat. Is anybody else? My body can take so much of the heat and sweat. Oof. I'm burning up like a furnace. Let's talk about the last three days. My body burning up like a furnace, and I'm in a hurry, and I'm used to riding, but people have to take a bike or somebody's property that don't belong to them, because they can't make the money to buy it, so they steal it from different other people. So, anybody out there an old bike, or a bike they don't want, you look on YouTube, you see it, let my friend know, and he'll give me a bike. Please, I need one. Bad. Because that's my working money. Tell everybody what happened that day you lost it. I had, that day, at Pin One Market, I go in the store to get a soda. Somebody in the store, gets on my bike, takes off, I'm running down Marion Street chasing him. And I'm running down Marion, down here, chasing the dude on my bike. That hurt. I look for it. But people give it to me out of their out of their kindness because they know I work. Do what I gotta do. And then have something 
take away from you that was given to you or you worked hard for it, to buy it and people can't afford to buy it and they steal it that, that's the lowest you can go this is my new bike and you can see what it is, see the color? I like it. Thank it's you. It's that giant made by Yukon in Taiwan. But it's got U.S. symbols. I like it. Nobody better grab this one. If they do, they're going to wear one of these or if they're not. What if? I love it. Nice, smooth, quick. I like it. No. And it stops on a dime. And I'm back on it again. So, I love it. Not a mouse, but who cares about the mouse? Something, he, he knows what I'm saying, but if you understand what it means, watch it on YouTube, you find it. I'm the one that's doing the video. He's given it this to me as a logo. I don't want people to play with it. I, I worked too hard for this as far as it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, you suck. You not. This is my new bike, as you can see. It says Free Spirit, nice, maroon, red, everything nice. I like my new bike. This is my new bike. See the name? Royce Union, it rides like a dream. I can do wheelies on this. I can't do it on my other bike, but I can do wheelies quiet and smooth. I had so many bikes taken on me, but this one is my caddy. I still got the blue one, but this one I like better 
then the blue one. The blue one might be a little faster than this one, but this one's quiet too, like the blue one. I love it. I wash it, I clean it, and I keep it maintained. Nice, soft, no ball buster. Really, no ball buster on this. Ugh. My nice bike. This is my new bike. You've seen the other ones I have, but this is a new one, and I like it so far. And uh, it's my pride and joy. So right now I'm going back home. Excuse me, back home. So I have to leave. So and then on top of that, I got new Mike and Jordan. See, my new Jordan. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that with my new bike. I couldn't do that before with any bike. Here's a thump, 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 thump. This is now quiet. With the flat. Can you do that? Keep that power. Okay, get on this side. Get over, get up. Get up! Alright! This is my bike! I gotta get home! Right on a flat! I go at a certain speed! Nice and high! With one hand! Like a red rock bike! I got a flat! I can ride! With no hands. Here's a big flat. Still keep it balanced. That's our skin. I can go. I don't like riding the bikes on his new one. Where they flat. But he does the best he can. That's all I can say. I do the best I can. My new bike. I don't like doing that. What? What can I do? I gotta get home. That's hard to do. Ride the bike with the flat. 
keep that balance without ruining the rest. I tried to do. I'm not pushing my body. There. Put some oil in it. Eh, I don't want it. Goodbye. Ah. Eh. I'm busy down here. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, the dude, the dude, the way right seat. Still in the seat. Oh, my kid. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's easy. Here's your fucking shit back. Look at it. Here's your shit back. Pick it up. <laughs> what is it? Go, go, go. Tie, 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 tie. Here, you try it. I can't get it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I like your back tire. Okay. Let me roll it. Let me roll it. Let me roll it, my friend. This is the new style, though. New style. Just, guess what? I'm trying to give you the right thing. Come on, Come on my GT. Okay. I'm gonna give you the brand new. Yeah, my side. I don't want it up high because that hurts my back more. I said, hold the seat. I'm trying to get the. Yes, this is. Yes. This is a nut here. I'm trying to do this, and everybody's getting right on my. I'm just going to pissed off. Hey, wait till I say go. Just do what you gotta do. Oh. I said, wait, don't even say go or nothing until I say so. <laughs> until I say so. Okay, ma, mañana yo estoy para trabajar. Porque al campo. Because this pedal, either way I go, I say I got it. Sit right there until I say I got it. Then I'll show you. All right. So don't waste the film. Don't waste the film. Don't waste the film. Motherfucker. Hey, you 
Because each time I go, it's the way it tightens or the way it loosens. Okay. That's, that's the way it's loosening. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ah, ah. Oh, get on there, you cotton picking thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Nanny. No, I gotta go on the other side. Mm, let's see if that fits. <laughs> Come on, you can't pick and pick. Come on, you. No, you're gonna be a pain. Hold on. I get the wrench on here. Ready? Ah. I got the mother. Nah, I finally got the mother. <laughs> it's got to come off. <laughs> I'm going to get it off. Ah, ah, I'm getting it off. When I get it up, I say, I got it in my hand. And I go, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, follow. I got it. Righty, lefty, tighty, tighty. Because that's the way this pedal's going. Righty, righty. Lefty, lefty. Lucy. Lefty is Lucy. See? I'm going left. That's supposed to be tight. This is supposed to be loose. So this is left. So it's got to go left. Okay. Righty is tight. This way is tightening. This way is you're supposed to tighten, but that's loosey. That goes the opposite. See, I got it in my hand. I put it back down. I got it in the hole. And if you go right, like this, get it in the hole, and you go the opposite, the opposite, that's supposed to be loose. The nut is off. Now I might get a screwdriver and a hammer. And see if that pops. Fucking cunt. Now we're in the 
Now I'm getting mad. Nope. That fucking finger hurts. Tightening or not, I, I, I don't know if the ratchet is spinning over the... Yeah, I see what's happening. This has got to be a little more tight. Now put a fucking thing. Okay, ready? Okay. Ah! There goes that sore finger. Trying to fucking tighten the fucking nut, and I don't think the. I think the the the, the pliers are sliding off the the uh what's my part? I don't think this thing's turning because I'm sitting here spinning it. Ah, that's a fucking drift. That don't work. So I don't know. So that was a snap. It's working. Okay. Now, that's working. Now, is it loose? Hold on. Stop it. I fixed it. I'm not kidding. I'm not fucking kidding. Come over here and move that. Go ahead. Move it. Come here. I'm not lying. Go over there. I'm bringing the tool back. You find you you do it. I just cranked it. You do it. See what you see. Meatball.